Hello guys, this is my BBHT and today I'm going to show you give you a detailed um tutorial on how to install XAMP and get a test forum. First of all go to ApacheFriends.org and click on XAMP. Okay. Then scroll down to where it says XAMP for Windows. Then you download XAMP, the first one. And then you go for Installer. And you've got to wait a bit for the installer to work. Well, for the install to start. Well, download to start, sorry. Um, download file. It'll, for me, it restart, refreshes the window, so you can do it. But for some other computers, it's different. So, so I'm gonna click run because I say it's easier, although it does take longer. <coughs> anyway, just while that's going, um. Leggy, leggy. Actually, I'll just pause it here, and when it's done, I will continue. Okay. Okay. After that, you click Run and go to English. <coughs> and then you go to Next. You can change where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine into my D files, local disk D. Click OK, and I'm going to call it WebRoot. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, and you click Next. You've got to do that and got to do that. Oh, and you've got to install Apache and MySQL. FileZilla is a bit. You can use it if you want. Apart from I would, I would rather download the FileZilla client. Then you just wait for it to go. While it's doing that, we should go on to mybb.com. I think it's .com. Yeah. And the latest version for me when this video was recorded was mybb 1.6. So click download now. So I've got. My would be 1.603, I mean 1.63 or 1603. And then you click download now. Just click save and I would save it on my desk desktop. I can't speak today. Okay, and while it's doing that, um, we'll check on the XAMP. Okay, this does take quite a while to do. And this is just nearly done. So, anyway, click close that, minimize that, and that. Let me drag that there. And then you extract the mybb files. Extract files here. See, you can see how it does. I've got WinRAR installed on mine on my netbook, so it's a different type. In, so I can um use RAR archives as well. Anyway, I've got the documentation and upload. I would suggest you read through the documentation. I've already done that. So then open up upload, and you've got lots of files which you need. And I'm just going to pause the video here until we've got the XM ready. Okay, this will come up when your XM installation is nearly complete. Okay, so now it's installed. Click finish. You've got to wait for this to happen. It's quite quick. Unless you've got a slow computer or netbook or laptop or whatever. You've got to unblock them. So then you can actually get what you need. So 
to start my Apache 2.2 service, as you can see there. <coughs> okay, and now time to start my MySQL ser service. Okay, it's been finished. Um, yes, I do. Okay, that's been opened. I'm going to shut that, and it's still running. Let me just close that. Okay, next, you go to my computer, and then you go to wherever you put your XM files, and for me it's local disk D, web root. Then you go to htdocs, and you should see all that. Go to my, go to that, go to your internet explorer or whatever, go to http dot dot slash slash localhost, the URL where my mouse is just going over. And you should start with XAMP. Click English. Okay, then go on to the HTTP colon slash slash one two seven point zero point wait HTTP dot dot I mean colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay. Then go to forward slash php my admin. Just wait for that to load. Okay. So one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay. Then instead of where it says example, you go to my php admin. That's where it should work. Um, sometimes you've got to pay, copy and paste a file in. So I'll just do that now. Copy, paste. <coughs> that is so weird. Okay, it's all should be there, so okay, if that's not working, whoops, that's not working, that's weird. See so you in a sec while I get try to get p h p my admin sort sorted, okay, now it's working, so we go to p h p my admin, and it would load like this. You need that, but before you do anything here, go to your ht docs move everything apart from your php my admin okay then go to your upload file control a and copy and paste into your ht docs <coughs> while that's happening let's just create a forum database i'm going to call mine my bb Simple, and I've got it. Keep that like that for a minute. Let's just open up localhost again. Hopefully, the my BB file should be there nearly fully. While well, it's doing that, let's just go into the install. Let me click next. Can I move that? Yes, that's a bit in the way. I know. Click next. You should read the license because you've got to agree to that. Okay, as long as everything's alright, ball, you know you can continue. Always go for my SQL, nothing else. Yes, it's localhost. Database name was my BB. Time to create a user. Go to privileges. Click. Add a new user, click use text field. I'm going to call mine my you wait my user host is local host password. I'm going to generate one or copy. Then I'm going to paste the password first so I don't forget. 
and it's my user. Don't press um continue yet as we have not created the database. Ch click check all so he get so the database user can do everything you need to do. And you click go. And it's been added. Then you can now click next. Do not change MySQL table settings as it's just easier to keep them where they are. <coughs> just be patient. Okay. It's got lots of into the database. So if we click my BB, it should now have 70 tables. And if you look, there's 70 tables now. Anyway, with that, go back to the installation wizard. Click next, and now it's populated the tables, which is good. We can speed this up because it's just inserting the theme in that. Okay, now we've got to configure the forum. I'm going to find um, about my TV. test, and I'm going to copy that. And paste it there. Do cookie domain and cookie path free because I did that before and you kept I kept on being logged out automatically. Contact details we can leave the same because wow it's a private server one. Okay, that's good. Now time to make the administrator account. I'm gonna call mine as that's I'm gonna put an easy password admin. Email address. I'm gonna just hide it. Thank, because I don't want you to know my email address. Okay. Oh, I'm so stupid when I do that. Sorry about that. So I'll click there. Um, I'm gonna just use my email. Okay. Move that way. And now it's been successfully installed and configured. So we can move the go away from install. If you want, you can move. What happened? I don't think index index PHP came. Um, um Yeah. One sec. Okay, it still works then. That was just a glitch of my XM. It should not happen with you, so anyway. Thanks for watching. This is my BBHT logging off. See you later.